Hi, thanks for watching my video. Today I'm going to show you how I made over $50 at just a 99 cent store in about 15 minutes. I go in there a couple days a week, see what they got. They always got like an influx of new products. They do have some stuff that they always have in stock. But today I was taking the kids to a movie and I just figured we'll pop in and get some candy real quick to, to take in the theater with us. And um, I checked to see what we can, we can get. So the first thing I found, I always check the toys. Uh, that's usually where I go first to see what they got. So today they had this Mickey Mouse guitar. Um, you can see the price tag was $7.99. With the local tax rate, it comes to $8.65 each. Um, the sales rank is $231,000. And so it should sell about 30 a month, you know, roughly. But the good thing is, is there's only three FBA sellers on it. And they're selling it for $29.85. So I'll make a little bit over $7 a piece. Uh, they did have more. I only bought three. Whenever I'm shopping and it's my first time buying something, unless the rank is like super good, I'll do a test buy of like two or three to test the waters and see if it's a fluke. Because when you're doing RA, something could have just sold yesterday and that would drop the sales rank because I've had that happen where I've bought more than I probably should have and they had just sold one but they hadn't sold them like for like three weeks. So I kind of got stuck with that inventory and it took a really long time to sell. So I always recommend when it's a new product to do a test buy because you never know if it's a fluke that someone just bought it for the first time yesterday. So I picked up three of those. So right there is about a $21 profit. I also like to look through their, their grocery section. They, at the 99 cent store, they do have a lot of uh, generic brands. Every once in a while, you can find a name brand, brand product, excuse me. So today I found this. It's a, is it Kikomen wasabi sauce? Um, I haven't seen this in there before, so it might be something relatively new to them uh, or maybe they just got some real cheap so this one was a good buy in this one I bought more than I do for my normal test buys because um, the sales rank I'm selling it in a bundle of two let's see if you can see my phone that's not picking up but it's a bundle of two and the sales rank is 27 almost 28,000 so it's going to sell about 240 a month at that rank. It also has 89 four star reviews so you know it's a good product and people have been buying it for for a long time. Now the retail price on it, what it, FBA is selling it for is only $10.44 but with it being a 99 cent store I was able to buy two of them for two dollars so my profit will be after my expenses would be two dollars and eighty four cents each. So I was in the store for 15 minutes. I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, eight bundles. So right there is about $20 profit. Uh, actually, a little bit more than $20 profit. About almost $24 profit. So I was in the store for 15 minutes. Just looked through toys. Went down the one grocery aisle real quick, and you know I walked out of there with what will be about a $50 profit. Uh, and both of these have low competition, so it shouldn't be much of a problem getting the buy box. There's only six FBA sellers on this, so these will sell probably two or three days. You know, and that's really all you got to do. Just walk in real quick, just go through the toy section, walk through grocery, and you can actually make a lot of money at the 99 cent store in 10, 15 minutes. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you can like and subscribe to the channel, I plan on posting uh, one or two videos a week of a variety of Amazon FBA uh, videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.